close your eyes, and, and as the Buddhist words say, seclude yourself from sensuality. Now that doesn't mean you seclude yourself from sensual pleasures, because after all we're sitting in a comfortable place. The air is just about right. What it means is that your mind's fascination with thinking about sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, and your plans for how you want to eat something like this, or hear something like that, or see something like this. Put those kinds of thoughts aside. Just be with the breath in the present moment, and try to be on good terms with it. When you breathe in, breathe in a way that feels refreshing. Let the body breathe out on its own. You, your duty is to breathe in and then to watch the energy to see when the next time comes that you have to breathe in. As for breathing out, the body can do that perfectly fine. You don't have to squeeze things out. The problem is when we focus on the breath, sometimes we have our cartoon ideas of what the breath should be like. And so we create sensations to fit in with the cartoons. And that can create patterns of tension, patterns of stress, blockages in different parts of the body. To so see if you can put as many of your cartoon ideas away. Just think of the breath coming in, nourishing the body. And you're here just watching over it as best you can. Gives the mind a good place to settle down inside, too. Because this is where the work has to be done. The Buddha says to content ourselves with things outside. As long as it's good enough to practice, it's good enough. But inside, he says, as long as there's any stress or suffering in the mind, don't rest content. You've got to figure out, what am I doing wrong? And how can I do it right? So make sure that you're content with the right things and discontent with the right things. So you can focus your energy where it really needs to be focused, where the work needs to be done, and where the results, when they come, are more than worth all the effort that goes into it. <laughs>